evening. Welcome to Sacred Circle. I'm Eric Vasquez. I'm Tiffany Dalton. I'm Frank Dalton. And I'm Kate Dalton. And tonight we are here to celebrate Yule and the coming of the new millennium. Right now we're going to talk just a little bit before we go into our circle segment. Um, Yule is a solar holiday. It is the celebration that after what will be the longest night of the year, we will celebrate the days becoming longer and longer, so we're celebrating the return of the sun and light into our lives. Um, this is a very, very special Yule celebration because it's the last celebration of the century and of the millennium. So we are really kind of at a very interesting crossroads in history. And while the calendar that the millennium is celebrated on is the Julian calendar, which is a Christian calendar, um, most of the world follows that. The workaday world follows that calendar. And as many of you know, if you give light and energy and intent to an idea, that idea becomes very important and it becomes something that the entire world will follow. And that is what's happened with New Year's Eve. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about that, some preparations for that that you might want to make. We're going to be talking a little bit about um, what that might mean to us, what the millennium will mean to us. We have Tiffany here, who is back with us tonight, and she's going to be discussing some of the concerns for youth, um, some of the things that they're interested in as they look forward to the new millennium. Um, we're also going to be doing a real lot of introspection during our circle. So when we break away, I'm going to want all of you to concentrate on thinking of what kind of positives you want to bring into your life um, at this time of the year. Although we celebrate our New Year's at Samhain, this time of the year, the dead of winter is a really good time for um, reflection and uh, figuring out where we want to go with our lives and what we want to do. Eric and I were talking the other night, and this is kind of where the idea for the circle came from. Um, Eric mentioned that we, especially at this time of the year, banish a lot. We banish a lot of negativity from our lives. We banish a lot of um, the bad habits, um, people who aren't good for us, um, jobs that aren't good for us. We try to get those out of our lives. And um, Also, one people who, um, when they're in a time of stress, are constantly seeking to cleanse or banish or rid themselves of some sort of blockage. Right and fall short of um, the final goal in one aspect, in, in what they're calling in to replace what they're getting rid of. Eric reminded me that nature abhors a vacuum. So if you move something out of your life and don't think about what you want to fill it, nature will fill it for you. It may not be exactly what you wanted. It probably won't be. But it will be filled. So to kind of save na nature the energy and the effort of doing that. What we'd like all of you to think about as we go away to our break in just a couple of moments, I want you to think about what would you like to get rid of in your life? What kind of bad negativity type stuff you want to get rid of? And what kind of positive things do you want to bring into your life? We'd like all of you to think about that very hard. Reflect on what that means not only to you personally, not only to, you, to the world at large, but also to our more intimate community, the pagan, Wiccan, metaphysical community. And we're going to break away. Um, we're going to have some um, messages for you. And what we'd like you to do is watch, pop a tape into the VCR. When we come back, we're going to be celebrating our Yule Circle, and we'll be bringing back the light. So all of you stay there. We'll be back in just a few short moments. Thanks. <laughs> 